All right, you guys, welcome to class. My name is Teacher Chad. Uh, sorry for the delay. Um, I was uh, trying to refresh my Verblink screen, and it wasn't uh, wasn't uh, uh, refreshing. It may have been my internet problem, as uh, uh, often occurs. But uh, anyway, I'm, I'm uh, happy to be here in class with you. Uh, this hour, we are going to be uh, talking about um, canceling an appointment. Okay, so this is uh, English for the workplace. So we'll be going over some vocabulary words. All right, we'll go over a uh, a uh, dialogue. Okay, and uh, towards the end of the class, I'll give you that uh, that dialogue so that you can uh, look at and keep uh, keep for your records. Okay, um, and then uh, do uh, some other uh, simple exercises in, in helping you try to remember what those uh, vocabulary words mean. Okay, so that's the uh, the idea for this yeah, class. For this class. Uh, let's see who we have with us so far. Hi there, Oscar. How you doing? <laughs> Hi, teacher. I am fine. And you? Excellent. I'm doing great. I'm doing uh, very well. Thank you. Welcome to class. Well, very well. All right. And uh, uh, Frank, uh, let's see. Let me see if I can remember. Frank, uh, Frank Weiss? No. Franz, Franz, Franz Weiss. Franz Weiss. Dang it. You're going to have to tell me. How do I pronounce your name again? Francisco. No, there's uh, the uh, uh, lady, lovely lady lovely from, uh, from France. From France. Ah. Uh, Lede? 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 Fran <laughs> Francois? Francois? Francois. No, but it's uh, the S is uh, Francois. It's like Francois. Something like that. Aye. It's difficult. All right. Well, I think uh, she's uh, she's loading. Um, uh, Laszlo, how you doing? Hi, Chad. Can you? Hear Hi there. Me? I can. Welcome to class. Good to have Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And Francisco from Portugal, how you doing? Fine. Thank you. Excellent. Excellent. Good to, good to, good to have you good here. To have you here. And Amparo, welcome back to class. Thank you. All right, let's uh, go uh, back here to Vincenzo. How you doing, Vincenzo? Okay, and let's uh, let's try Fran Francoise one more time. Nope, not so much. Okay, you guys. Well, uh, this uh, this hour we are going to be talking about canceling and an appointment. Okay, uh, oftentimes not only in our personal lives but in business as well. Depending on what your job function is, uh, you have to make appointments. Okay, so that's the verb that we use. Okay, we say make an appointment. Well, um, when we, uh, oh, when we, when we uh, can't we make, can't it, to the make it to the appointment. Okay, uh, we then have to cancel the appointment. Okay, and that means like terminate or uh, stop the appointment so the person isn't uh, um, uh, isn't waiting for you. Okay, now um, uh, Francois, uh, I I need your help. Is your is your microphone working, Francois Francois? I think that's how it is. Okay, the reason why there is an echo is because you have a, a verbling window open. So, for example, if I were, if I were to show you my, uh, okay, my screen here, okay, if you go up here to your tabs, okay, if you have a verbling window open like this, you need to uh, you need to click out of it, okay, because uh, or you can stop the video, okay. I usually just stop the video, so it doesn't so it doesn't, uh, so it doesn't, uh, echo. So it doesn't echo, okay, okay. All right, let's All right, go let's to uh, Michele. Michele, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. Thanks, Chad. Thanks. And you, Excellent. how are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Uh, welcome back to class. Thank you. All right, let's try Vincenzo one more time. Vincenzo, can you hear me okay? Yes, I hear you perfectly. Excellent. All right, how Excellent. are you? I'm doing great. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome to class. Uh, how about uh, Nalbert? Nalbert? How are you doing? Hi. Hi I there. do well. <laughs> Excellent. I do well. Very good. Uh, welcome uh, welcome yeah. back to class. It's good to have you here. Uh, let's see here. 
Okay. Why is that not? So you guys. Okay. All right, you guys. So, um, so yes. Yeah, so we're talking about uh, uh, canceling an appointment today. So uh, let's uh, let's uh, first review uh, some vocabulary words. We'll talk about what uh, what they mean. Okay. And let's start here. Let me go ahead and share my my screen with you all. Okay. All right. So uh, first up, uh, we're going to start over on the left hand side with Amparo. And Amparo, let me have you read uh, read this uh, first uh, first uh, phrase and its definition here, please. Okay. Good. Yeah. So this is a a common. A, a common phrase or a common way to say uh, to say hello, but because I could say hey what's up, you can say not much. I really don't want to know what's what's going on. What's going on? Okay. But if uh, if uh, I come into your office, okay. So for example, uh, Amparo, if we say uh, hey what's up in the morning when we work together, that means hi. But if you're my boss, Amparo, and uh, and I come to your office and I say um, uh, Amparo, can I talk to you about something? You could say, sure, what's up? Okay, and that means what's going on. You're no longer using it as saying hi. Okay, you okay, actually, you want, actually to want to know uh, what's, going, what's on. going on. Okay, all right, let's go to Francisco. Uh, Francisco, uh, Francisco uh, this, uh, next, this one next one here, please. Here, please. To move an appointment to a different date. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And that yeah. Is and that's um, now, now, Francisco. Francisco. Uh, I can hear myself very, very strongly in your microphone. So yeah, if you can keep yourself, keep yourself muted, muted or put your, put your headphones. In. Okay. If you have headphones, that would be that would be great. Okay. That way we won't we won't hear you. Okay. Okay. All right. So All this right, word so this here is, 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 is okay. So this okay, word so this here is, is reschedule. Reschedule. Francisco. 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 I need no, for you. I need for you microphone. Microphone. Francisco. Francisco. Yes. I, I need. I, I need to mute your microphone. Mute your microphone. Yes, I understand. All right. All right. Very good. Thank Very you. Good. Thank okay. you. Uh, so Chad. this. Yeah. What's up? Chat. Yes. The, there is link the document. Uh, there is, yeah. I'll uh, I'll give it to you guys in in uh, just a bit. Okay. Thank you. Uh huh. Uh, very good. So uh, this word here, reschedule. Okay. Um, it's not canceling. It's just moving that appointment to a different time or to a different day. Okay. So that's uh, rescheduling. Okay. Uh, good. All right. Our our next word here. Okay. This is for uh, Ivan. How you doing, Ivan? I'm doing well, Chet. Thanks. How are you, Great. Chet? Great. Good to have you. I'm doing good. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, All right. Go okay. ahead and uh, and read that uh, that word for us, please, and the definition. Uh, came up to happen. Okay. Now, uh, the way that we use this is we usually say something. We usually say something came up, okay, and that means something has happened. So, Yvonne, if I have an appointment appointment with you and uh, you're going to be uh, um, teaching me something about uh, the computer or whatever it may be, um, and that's at four, okay. But I get a phone call from my wife saying that saying my that son my son broke his leg, okay. I would then call you and say, hey, Yvonne. Uh, can we reschedule my appointment? Something came up, and I can't make it today. Okay, so okay. something came up means something happened. Okay. Okay, I understand. Good. Let's go to Laszlo. Laszlo, um, our our next uh, phrase, please. Okay, make it to attend the meeting or e event. Okay. 
Very good, yeah. In my last example that I was talking about, you heard me say, um, uh, I can't make it. All right? That would be the opposite. I cannot attend. Okay? I won't be able to uh, uh, go to the meeting or event. Okay? If I can make it, okay, I would say, sure, I'll, I'll, I'll make it. I, I know I'll be able to make it to the appointment. Okay? And that means that you are going. Okay? Uh, Francoise? Is your microphone working? No? Okay, let's go to Michele. Let me have you read this next word, please. Postpone. To agree to do something at a later, a later time. Perhaps uh, like reschedule or reschedule. Uh, it's similar to, uh, to reschedule. Schedule. Um, um, but the difference is, is that you, uh, you don't know if you're actually going to do it. Okay. Okay. So... Um, you can uh, reschedule something, and that is actually writing down another day or time when you are going to do it. Postpone is kind of leaving it open. Okay, to do it later, but I don't know when. Exactly. Okay, so I'm going to postpone this for right now and get back to it at another time. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, sure. sure. Okay. All right, very good. Very good. Okay, um, and our next word... How is that doing that? Hold on, you guys. Sorry. My computer's trying to catch up with itself. Okay. Our next word here is uh, inconvenience. And this is for uh, this is for Oscar. Yes. Inconvenience. To case problems or trouble. Okay. Very good. Now. In our lesson from yesterday, canceling a flight, okay, we had this word. Okay, remember inconvenience when when you cannot take a flight. Okay, you have to wait around for a long time, or you might miss the event that you're going to. Okay, um, so inconveniencing someone means that you are causing uh, problems or or trouble to that person. Okay, um, or, or, or inconvenience and bumbling. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> For example. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Like, uh, like, uh, uh, if the if the website isn't working properly, then it becomes very inconvenient, right? Uh, or you know, with Hangouts, if Hangouts isn't working properly, that becomes inconvenient. Okay. It causes problems for me. Okay. All right. Nice job, Oscar. Okay. Let's go to uh, Vincenzo, and our next word, please. <laughs> I can see your screen, teacher. Okay. Um, uh, click on someone else's icon and then come back to mine, and you should be able to see it. Okay. No. Doesn't come. Okay. St it's still not showing up? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, Excuse me, but it's too small. What do you mean? Eh, to to wonder, to wonder, eh, explains why. Okay. Um. Uh. This would be no wonder. Ah, uh, no wonder. Yeah. Uh huh. No wonder. Okay. Um. So if uh if someone wasn't able to to come by or they uh. Uh, and they call and they afterwards. Call they would say, "Hey, uh, sorry, uh, sorry, I couldn't make it. I had uh, I had something that came up." Um, and uh, the person would say, "Yeah, no wonder. Okay, explains why." All right, it's a uh, it's a phrase that we use every now and again. Okay, not extremely popular, but yes, we do we do use it. Okay, for uh, that. So, so the mini. So the meaning is uh, no wonder that doesn't matter. Oh, no, no, no. No, it means. What, what's the meaning? It means that explains right here. This is the meaning. Okay, that explains uh, why. Okay, so we have uh, the pronunciation and okay. the the uh, definition. So that explains why. Okay, no wonder why you couldn't okay, make it. Okay. okay, no wonder why. Okay, yes. um, that's a that's a, a a popular way of how to say that. No wonder. Why? No wonder why you couldn't make it. 
Okay. Good. Let's go uh, back down to Amparo. Um, uh, this uh, word, please. Scheduling complete. Two or more appointments scheduled at the same time. Okay, good. Yeah, so a mm -hmm. scheduling conflict. All right, yeah, that's a, uh, it's a uh, popular way to say, uh-oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I have too much, uh, too much uh, happening at one time. Okay, uh, a scheduling conflict. Okay, all right, uh, let's go to Francisco. And Francisco, and Francisco uh, this, one here, this one here, please. Call off uh, is to cancel or uh, postpone. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. So call so off. Call off. Uh, call off is to cancel or postpone. Okay. Um, so if I uh, if I uh, call you up and say, hey, I need to call off our appointment. Okay. Or uh, I'm going to call off today's meeting. Okay. That means that it is going to be canceled. Okay. Or postponed to another time. Okay. Call off. Okay. Uh, a popular way that you will probably hear this used is to call off a wedding. Did you guys get married? No, she called it off. Okay. She called it off. She canceled it. We're not getting married anymore. Okay. Uh, good. Let's go to um, Yvonne. Yes. Our next one here, please. Double book. To have two appointments or meeting meetings at the same time. Okay. All right. So these are um, uh, these are very similar. Double booked and scheduling conflict. Yes. Okay. Um, if we use them. Okay. So scheduling conflict is um, is is going to be kind of when something is uh, is over. It might be overlapped. Okay, it looks like ah, it looks like I have a scheduling conflict here. I I, I won't be able to make it. Um, double booked, double booked is is similar, um, but there uh, looks like I'm double booked. Yeah, double booked we use when it doesn't seem like it's going to be a problem, but a scheduling conflict is going to be a problem. Uh, it's it's a very very interesting. Personally, I usually use scheduling conflict when I have two appointments because I try not to do that you know I try not to have you know too much going on because I'm pushing myself in too many different directions so that's the phrase I usually use okay it looks like I have a scheduling conflicts conflict Maybe the difference because in the double book you you made the, the mistake maybe in the schedule conflict someone else book the, the schedule for you no it, it, it could be but yeah, it's still they still mean almost the same thing. Uh, this is this is probably how we would say this. Okay, double book describes what the situation is. Okay, so I'm sorry, I'm going to have to call off the appointment today. I have a scheduling conflict. Someone double booked me. Okay, so I just used called off scheduling conflict and double booked. Okay, so I'll do that again. Okay, I'm sorry, I have to call off today's meeting okay or today's appointment okay because I have a scheduling conflict okay someone double booked me uh, someone okay. or apparently oh. I'm double booked okay something like that so um, we would use this to uh, to describe to describe the situation okay I'm, I'm double booked okay yeah. excuse me teacher Yes. We, we can yes. use also double book in the passive form. Passive. Uh, this appointment is double double booked. Booked. Yeah, in past tense. Yeah, I usually I, I would usually in, use that in, in the in, passive uh, form. In the passive form. In the passive. Pass, passive form. Yes, this appointment is double booked. Oh, double yeah. book is yeah. a verb, but scheduling conflict is not. It's like it's not a noun. Yeah. That, there, there you go. So, so I was double booked. I was. Yeah. Uh, um, did you double book me? Yeah, yeah. Scheduling conflict. Yeah, there you go. That would be the main, the main difference. Because they, they, it's relatively, relatively the same thing. Okay, they have the same, same meaning. So, we have our, um, we have our noun and we have our, our verb here. 
okay? Don't double book me for this afternoon, okay? Yeah. I don't want to create any scheduling conflicts, okay? Oh, this appointment is double booked. Yeah. Uh-huh, okay. Very good. Let's go to okay. our, right. our next phrase here. This is, uh, Laszlo, did you read last or was that Yvonne? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, okay, go ahead and read this next one, please. Okay. Push back to move a meeting or appointment to late later time. Okay, good. So we have uh, two different phrases that we use here, you guys. Okay, we have push back and push forward. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it took me a while. It took me a while to understand these because as I push back, push. Uh, it, it was like it was hard for me to kind of picture in my head, right? Um, but if we're pushing back, okay, we're going uh, uh, we're going later, okay. And I had uh, uh, usually on, okay, I used um, like a, like a calendar, like an Outlook thing, okay. Um, and um, sometimes, or even on even on a handwritten one. Okay, your your time starts at the at the bottom. This is a.m. This is what I had to do for my brain because I couldn't get it. Okay, so if your schedule uh, starts in the in the morning here, okay, and then going up it gets later. Okay, I had to think in my mind. Okay, push back is going to be later. Okay, so push I'm going. Forward. I'm pushing it. Yeah, pushing it back later in the day. Okay, pushing forward. Okay, I'm going. I need to push uh, push our meeting forward. Okay, that means earlier in the day, and so I had to picture a uh, a calendar for uh, for the day with the times on it. Okay, and going up is being later at night, going down is being earlier. Okay, so push forward or sorry, push back. Okay, later. Okay, uh, push forward is before. before. Is early earlier. Earlier, before. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if someone someone calls you and say, "Hey, uh, I'm," uh, or sends an email and says, uh, "I need to push our, our meeting forward," okay, an hour. That means it's going to be an hour earlier. Okay. If they say, "I need to push our meeting back," okay, that means later. Okay. And I don't know why that those concepts were so hard for me to uh, to grasp. They just were. And so I had to I had to make notes for myself. This is what it means because I got mixed up all the time. Ugh, it's crazy. Okay, uh, let's go to our last word here. All right, and this is for uh, Francoise. Is your are you going to be participating? No. Okay. Let's uh, let's go to. Um, Maida, hi Maida, how are you? Okay, how about Michele? <laughs> I'm here. Okay. There you go. Rain check, a promise or offer to do something in the future that is not possible to do now. Okay, yeah. So a rain check. This is a uh, a popular um, popular phrase. Okay, so um, can I get a uh, a rain check? This is usually used for uh, for lunch. Okay, um, so if we had a business meeting or if we were going to be if we worked together, Michele, and uh, we were planning on going out to uh, the sports bar, um, grabbing some food, getting a drink, and watching a game. Okay, after work or something, uh, and I had something come up. All right, I might say I. Michele, I'm sorry, I got I got to cancel. Um, can uh, can uh, can I take a rain check for this afternoon? Mm -hmm. Right, and that means can I can we do this another time? Okay, mm -hmm. I promise we'll get it done. I just can't do it today because something came up. And we say, can I get a rain check? Okay. Okay. Uh, get to get a rain yeah. check. Yeah. Yeah. Can I get a rain check or? Uh, um, can I? We can also say, "Can I take a rain check?" Okay. Okay. So we say uh, to get a rain check or to take a rain check. Okay. And that means, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do it another time. I just can't do it today. Okay. All right. Very good. Any questions, you guys, about our vocabulary words?
Nope, okay. Your rain check is like postpone <laughs> or push back. <laughs> okay, but, but with remember, the promise inside. <laughs> yes. Okay, remember, postpone postpone does not have a guarantee that you are going to have that meeting. Mm -hmm. Okay, push back means that, yes, you are going to have the meeting. It's just at a later time. Okay, postpone, there's no, there's no guarantee. If I say I, I need to postpone the meeting, that means it's canceled and we don't know when we're going to do it again. Okay, rain check is, uh, yes, we're going to postpone it, okay, uh, to a later day, and, uh, and, we, and I promise it's going to get done. So it's a little bit stronger, uh, uh, I'm sorry, a little bit lighter than postpone because postpone is open-ended. Okay, uh, rain check is open-ended, but it's a little bit more secure because it's it's uh, it has that promise of yes, we're going to get it done. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, very good. Any any other questions? Okay. Uh, let's go to our dialogue, and we'll uh, get some practices here. All right. So canceling. Okay, and I want to give you guys the uh, the link here. Hi, Maida, is your microphone working? Okay, this the link in the chat box is for the dialogue as well as it has the uh, vocabulary words down below. Okay, it's a PDF file. Okay, and so we uh, we ended with Michele. Let's go to Oscar and Vincenzo. And we'll have you guys practice this. Oscar, you will be uh, A, and Vincenzo will be B, okay? Go ahead and start when you're ready, please. Hello, Samantha speaking. You Vincen Vincenzo, make sure to <laughs> unmute yourself. You who? Yes, okay. So I am Samantha, okay? Uh, yes, you are B. B. Yeah, this is number two. Number two here. Okay. Number two. Hi, Samantha. This is Angela calling. Oh, hi, Angela. What's up? I'm just calling about our meeting today. I wonder is it possible to reschedule our appointment in the afternoon? I have a bit of, of an emergency, an emergency that I need to take care of. Let me see. It should be too much of a problem. I'm really sorry. I hope it doesn't inconvenience you too much. It's just this thing came up and... Angela, you know what? I can't make it to whole meeting either. Why don't we Postpone into tomorrow afternoon at the same time. Sounds great. See you tomorrow. Angela, mm, Angela, look at see that lady over there. I lost. No, oh, 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 over there. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I, I see, I see, I see. Who is trying on a red leather jacket? Is in that Samantha? What? No wonder she told me she couldn't make it to the meeting. Oh no. I I think she saw me. Okay. All right, good. So yeah, I didn't see, see there was a third see. person there. <laughs> hold, hold on one second. What's what's going on? Sounds like I see you tomorrow. Angela, look up. Uh that's <laughs> that's a strange, that's a, a strange, a strange little occurrence there in the uh, in this. Okay. Anyway, uh, okay. So what I want to take a look at, you guys. Uh, first up is um, I have a bit of an emergency. Okay. So a bit of uh, a lot of times in English we we uh, exaggerate or we minimize things. Okay. Yeah. If something is bad. We try and minimize it just a little bit, <laughs> okay? Because an emergency is crazy. There's an emergency, right? But we don't want it to seem like that, and so we say a little bit, <laughs> right? I have a little bit of an emergency, 
Okay, I kind of have an emergency. It's a, it's just this way that we speak. I don't know why, but that's exactly what we do. Okay, <laughs> um, and then Oscar, I want to practice this word with you. Uh, it shouldn't be too much. Try that. It shouldn't be too much. It shouldn't be too much. Okay, one more time. It shouldn't. It should be, be too much. Okay, so let's should. try that D sound. Shouldn't. 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 Okay, good. It shouldn't be too much. One more time. It shouldn't be too much. There you go. Much better. Awesome. Friend. Friends. There you go. Good. Okay. Uh, good. So let's uh, let's move on. And I'll uh, I I'll go ahead and read this C section. Okay, since it's only one time. Um, and let's go to Amparo and Francisco, okay? Um, uh, Amparo, you'll be A, and Francisco will be B. Okay? okay. Go ahead, you guys. Hello, Samantha. Hello, Samantha. Begin. Begin. Francisco, Francisco, I don't think I don't this think is going, going to work because uh, we hear the echo right echo back, right, right, when right back, right when we speak. Echo, okay? echo, okay. echo. Yeah, so, yeah, so uh, the uh, best thing the that best you can do is is get uh, um, headphones. Any any type of headphone would uh, would uh, help with the problem, okay? Um, okay, uh, so Amparo, let me have you practice with Yvonne here. Yvonne, you'll be B, okay? okay. Hello, okay. Samantha, begin. Hi, Samantha, this is Angela calling. Oh, hi, Angela. What's up, Angela? I'm just... I'm just calling about our meeting today. I wonder, is it possible to reschedule our appointment in the afternoon? I have a bit of an emergency that I need to take care of. Let me see. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'm really sorry. I hope it doesn't inconvenience you too much. It's just this thing uh, came up and... Angela, you know what? I can't make it to our meeting either. Why don't we postpone it to tomorrow afternoon at the same time? Sounds great. See you tomorrow. Angela, Angela, look up. See that lady over there who's trying on the red leather jacket? Isn't that Samantha? <laughs> what? I know. It's not me. <laughs> Repeat, oh, please. <laughs> yeah, so that it's uh, Ivan. Oh, okay. sorry, sorry. Uh, what? Uh, Angela, you know what? No, nope. uh, I can't make it. <laughs> uh, down, down here at the bottom. Okay, so after where it says C. Okay, I'm uh, apparently I'm your friend that's going okay. that's uh, hanging out that's with you. Your friend. Okay, I'm, I'm, uh, oh, no. I'm hanging out oh. with you uh, and uh, I, I, and you I, say I what? Okay, okay. Vicente. Okay. Uh, All right. So read that last line. Uh, who read it? Uh, uh, what? Uh, what? No wonder she told me she couldn't make it to the meeting. Oh no! I think she saw me. <laughs> okay. What? Very good. All right. So uh, apparently, uh, C is the friend that's hanging out with uh, with Angela. And she's trying on a red leather jacket, and that's why she can't go. And so she gets caught red-handed. Okay. Um, all right. So, um, Yvonne, I want to practice um, asking a question. Okay. okay. And this, this is called intonation. It's, it's question intonation. Okay. So when we ask a question, we say, I wonder, is it possible to reschedule our appointment in the afternoon? Okay. So we want our voice to go afternoon. It's going to go up. Okay, so so try that. From uh, to reschedule our appointment in the afternoon. Try that. Uh, to reschedule our appointment in the afternoon. There you go. Good. Yeah. So when we ask a question, oh. our voice goes up. Change intonation. Okay. Uh -huh. Change the intonation. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Nice. Nice. Uh, let's go to uh, Laszlo and uh, let's see. Maida, is your microphone working or Francoise? Nope, I'll, I'll keep trying. I'm not giving up hope. Okay, let's go to Michele then. So, Laszlo and Michele. Uh, Laszlo will be Hello. A and Michele will be B. Okay. Hello, Samantha speaking. Hi, Samantha. This is Angela calling. 
Oh, hi, Angela. What's up? I'm just calling about our meeting today. I wonder, is it possible to reschedule our appointment in the afternoon? I have a bit of an emergency that I need to take care of. Let me see. I shouldn't be too much of a problem. Mm, I'm really sorry. I hope it doesn't inconvenience you too much. It's just this thing came up. And Angela. Angela, you know what? I can't make it our meeting either. What? Why don't we postpone in tomorrow afternoon at the same time? Sounds great. See you tomorrow. Angela, Ange Angela, look up. See that lady over there who's trying on the red jacket? Isn't that Samantha? What? No wonder. She told me sh she couldn't make it to the minute. Oh, no, I think she saw me. All right, very good. Um, let's uh, let's practice question intonation, okay, Michele? <laughs> so, okay, so I wonder, is it possible to reschedule our appointment in the afternoon? Okay, so in the afternoon, ba da da ba ba. Okay, so it kind of scoops up. Okay, so uh, let's uh, let's go from to. Goodness gracious. Okay, so from to reschedule. Okay. Mm -hmm. To to reschedule our appointment in the afternoon. There you go. Good. Yeah, so that's that's called question intonation. Okay. Okay, nice job. Um, all right, let's go to uh, Oscar and, um, uh, and uh, Francoise. No, I cannot hear you. I cannot hear you at all. Uh, so check your, uh, check your mic. Uh, let's go to Oscar and Vincenzo, and we'll, we'll switch it up. Okay, so uh, uh, Vincenzo, you'll be A, and Oscar, yeah. you will be B. Okay, go ahead, you guys. Okay. Hello, Samantha speaking. Hi, Samantha. This is Angela calling. Oh, hi, Angela. What's up? I'm just calling about whole meeting today. I wonder... Uh, uh, oh, oh. I don't see... Ah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, repeat. I'm just calling about your meet today. I wonder is it possible to schedule or appointment in the afternoon? I have a bit of an emergency that I need to take care of. Let me see. It, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Hmm. I'm really sorry. I thought it doesn't inconvenience you too much. It's just this thing come up and... Angela, you know what? I can make it to our meeting either. Why don't we postpone it to tomorrow afternoon at the same time? Sounds great. See you tomorrow. Angela, Angela, look up. Hey, Angela, see that lady Angela, over hey. there? No, this is yeah. me, Vincenzo. Let's see. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay, so Angela, Angela, look up. See that lady over there who's trying on the red leather jacket? Isn't that Samantha? Repeating <laughs> sentence. What? No wonder she told me she couldn't make it into the meeting. Oh, no. I, I think she saw me. Okay, there you go. All right, nice job, you guys. Okay, let's uh, let's go to. This will be uh, Amparo and uh, Ivan, and let's switch it up. So Ivan will be uh, A, and Amparo will be B. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, hello, Samantha speaking. Hi, Samantha. This is Angela calling. Oh, hi, Angela. What's up? I'm just calling about our meeting today. I wonder, is it possible to reschedule our appointment in the afternoon? I have a bit of an emergency that I need to take care of. Let me see. Uh, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'm really sorry. I hope it doesn't inconvenience you too much. It just this thing came up and... Um... Angela, you know what? I can't make it to our meeting either. Why don't we postpone it to tomorrow afternoon at the same time? 
Sounds great. See you tomorrow. Angela, Angela, Angela look yeah. up. Uh, Angela, see that lady Angela. Over there who is that's trying me, on a red leather jacket. Isn't it Samantha? <laughs> oh, sorry, chat. <laughs> All right. Angela. This is, this is my time to shine. This is my time to shine. Oh, sorry, sorry. Right, so, uh, Angela, Angela, look up. See that lady over there who is trying on the red, uh, red leather jacket? Isn't that Samantha? What? No wonder. She told me he, she couldn't make it to the meeting. Oh, no. I think she saw me. Let's get out of here. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Now, um, one, one thing. Uh, we were talk, talking a little bit about um, uh, question intonation, okay? You guys have been doing good so far, okay? So, peaking your voice on, on here. Now, um, on this question... Okay, Yvonne read it absolutely correct. Okay, he said, why don't we postpone it to tomorrow afternoon at the same time? Okay, so notice I don't go at the same time. Okay, because it's more of a statement. Okay, uh, I'm not, it's, a, it's like a uh, rhetorical question, sort mm -hmm. of. Okay, I'm not ask, really asking for any information. Okay, so why don't we postpone it to tomorrow at the same time? Okay, I don't have to do anything special. Okay, but here, mm -hmm. Angela, you know what? I do. Okay, I'm I'm uh, I'm giving new information, or I want uh, uh, new information. Okay, Angela, you know what? Okay, mm -hmm. same thing with um, our appointment uh, in the afternoon. Okay, I'm I'm trying to find out if that's okay. It's a little different. Okay, than than making a uh, what I call a statement question. Okay, we don't have to change our intonation. Uh, when it's uh, when we're not really asking for new information, we're just that. Uh, why don't we do this? This this sounds like a good idea. Okay, it's just a bit different. Okay, all right. Let's go to um, let's go to let's see uh, Laszlo and uh, Michele. Okay, uh, let's have you guys uh, try this out. And Laszlo, you will be B, and Michele will be A. Okay, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> I didn't set up my headphone, sorry. Okay. Hello, Samantha speaking. Uh, hi, Samantha. This is Angela calling. Well, hi, Angela. What's up? I'm just calling about our meeting today. I wonder, is it possible a rest schedule or appointment in the afternoon? I have a bit of emergency that I need to take care of. Let me see. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. I am really sorry. I hope it doesn't inconvenience you too much. It's just this thing came up and... Uh, Angela, you know what? I can make it to our meeting later. Uh, why don't we postpone it to tomorrow afternoon at the same time? Sounds great. See you tomorrow. Angela, Angela, look up. <laughs> See that lady over there who's trying on the red leather jacket? Isn't that Samantha? What? No wonder she told me she couldn't make it to the meeting. Oh, no, I... I think she saw me. Okay, this is the second page. Okay. <laughs> Okay, okay, gotcha. All right, so, um, Laszlo, let's practice uh, some intonation, okay, uh, when we ask okay. a question, okay? So, to reschedule our appointment in the afternoon, so our voice is going to go up, afternoon, but da do okay? okay? To reschedule our appointment in the afternoon, try that. Uh, it, uh, schedule appointment in the afternoon. Okay, almost. Okay, so don't start it at the very beginning of afternoon. In the afternoon, because then it starts to go up too much. Okay, okay? so we want to start right here on noon. Okay, so to reschedule our appointment in the afternoon. So da da da. So I raise on noon only. Try that. Uh, schedule appointment in the afternoon. Okay, good. Better. Yeah, and so we we only start raising on noon. Okay. Good. All right. Let's uh, let's check here. Um, Francoise, is uh, is your uh, <laughs> I passed examination. 
<laughs> um, Francois, uh, is your microphone working? Okay. Uh, how about uh, how about Maida? Maida. All right. I'm sorry, ladies. All right. So uh, let's move on, you guys. Uh, we're going to go to uh, or any questions here on this page on the dialogue. Okay, uh, let's uh, let's go back to uh, some some exercises. Okay, and uh, we're going to uh, do a, a quick review on our vocabulary words. Okay, uh, so starting with uh, Oscar, Oscar, take a look at uh, the first one here on number one, um, and tell me which word you believe it matches to. Yes, to attend a meeting over event. Mm -hmm. I think is make it. Okay, good. Yeah, to make it. Make it. Uh huh. Good. Good. Now, um, I do want to give you guys just a little bit of a tip. Okay, make it has two different meanings. A uh, okay. uh, chat. Yes. Mm, how is pronounced? Uh, make or et? E or et? Okay, uh, it's a, it's a in between. All right, you're saying eh et? Okay, now let me et. let me show you here. Okay. Okay, so watch watch my mouth and how I how I pronounce this. Okay, I'm gonna say an a, an e, and an i, all short sounds. Okay, we have. A, e, e. Okay, so my mouth goes a, e, e. Okay, so when we pronounce the the it, okay, my mouth is like this, almost all the way closed. E. Okay, and my tongue is curved. Okay, like that. Okay, so it's a, e, e. Okay, so it's not e, it. It's e. It. Okay? Try that. Try that, Oscar. It. Thanks. Thanks, Chuck. Okay? All right. Now, um, let's, uh, let's, uh, I, I wanted to uh, uh, tell you guys about this word. Okay, so, uh, this word here has two different meanings. Okay? Um, it can mean uh, attend. Okay? Uh, or go to, go to an event. Yeah, we're just about to make it. Okay? Things like that. Um, it also means sex. Okay, if it's used in a different way. Okay, so what did you guys do last night? Oh, we made it. Okay, that means we had sex. Okay, that doesn't mean that we went went someplace or attended a meeting or something like that. Um, yeah. Okay, so it uh, it it can may it can have two different meanings. All right, it's not used as much anymore. But if you uh, if you hear someone, yeah, we were making it all night. Okay, they're not talking about going to a meeting, they're talking about the other, okay? All right, Vincenzo, our, our next one here, please. I hear some noises. Okay. Yep, because you have another window open. Right there. there you go. Which word? Where are you? <laughs> Where are we? Uh, I don't see the W. Uh, it's not on the document, it's on the screen. Uh, wait a moment, uh, yeah. It's your screen. Okay, it's very difficult to postpone. Uh, no, to give. Uh, this one right here. This one right here, where it's highlighted. Can you make it? Can you make it bigger, teacher? Um, I can try and to see how. Agree to. Big I can go. Yeah, yeah. Agree to do something at a later time. Later time. To agree to do something at a later time. Uh, okay. Is that postpone, postpone or push back? Which one is it? Postpone push or push back? back? Uh, postpone. Okay. All right. Good. Yeah, this would be postpone. Okay. Postpone. Yes. All right. So um, to move a meeting uh, or appointment to a later time. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. So, sorry. Uh, agreeing. 
Okay, agreeing is going to be push back. Okay, to do to something do at a later time. Okay, that is pushed back. To move a meeting or or an appointment to a later time. Okay, um, I believe no, this is. It was is it okay wrong? Time. Was it yeah. okay? Yeah. See, because I treat I treat postpone as you don't know when something is going to be uh, done. It's just postponing it. Okay, so so push back is then to is that what it to says move. on there to move a meeting or a, okay that's what it says on there that's fine that's fine okay okay all right let's let's go to number two here um, uh, Amparo go ahead and read that first one please to cancel or postpone is call off okay call off very good and Ivan. The next one yes. here, please. To have two appointments or meetings at the same time. Uh, scheduling con conflict. Okay. Now, <laughs> the, the difference between these two, okay, is going to be uh, uh, the verb and a noun, okay? So here, because it starts off with to have, okay, mm -hmm. it would be double book. Oh. All right. So to have those, all right? Okay, mm -hmm. that would be that would be double book, and scheduling conflict. Okay, it's pretty much the same thing. Okay, um, but yeah, where where you this uh, scheduling conflict would be a noun here. Okay. Okay. All right. Slight let's difference. let's do uh, yeah, very slight difference. That's why it's so it was it was difficult for me to kind of like put my head around. I was like, man, why do we have two words that mean exactly the same thing? Okay, uh, good. All right, let's go to Laszlo. Right here, please. That explains why. No wonder. No wonder. Okay, good. No wonder. And no Michele? Wonder. Michele, our next one, please. A promise or offer to do something in the future that is not possible to do now. Rain check. Good. Rain check. Okay, and uh, if something came up, something has happened. Okay, all right, nice job, you guys. Uh, thank you, thank you very much. Now, in this dialogue, there's a lot of really good phrases and, and things that we actually do say. Um, so yeah, take a look at that. You can come back to the video um, uh, and practice along and, and things like that. Okay, but there there are small phrases that you can uh, 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 where you can take out information and and put in other information uh, to fit the situation you're in. Okay, and that's what that's why I like these dialogues um, because a, a lot of times you can just switch a couple things and and use pretty much the same words. Um, if you did not get the link to the PDF file, let me uh, give that to you one last time. Okay, and next up. Um, for my classes is uh, role play, okay? And uh, role play, we're going to be uh, we're going to be practicing um, uh, shopping, okay? Some shopping environments as well as uh, some arguments, okay? Some small arguments, okay? All right, you guys. Thank you very much. We'll see you. Bye. Thank you, Kat. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.